हाय टीम माय नेम इज रविंद्र एंड वी आर वर्किंग ऑन एन टू एंड माइक्रोसॉफ्ट पावर प्लेटफॉर्म प्रोजेक्ट सो दिस इज डे टू सो लेट्स सी इन दिस डे टू प्रीवियसली वी वर्किंग ऑन दिस प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट ओके आई होप यू गो ऑन थ्रू दैट वीडियो ओके इफ नॉट गो ऑन द लिंक इज अवेलेबल इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स फ्रॉम देयर यू कैन बी जम्प एंड वॉच दिस सो फर्स्ट मॉडल इज डिजाइनिंग द डेटा मॉडल ओके एंड we are having one excel file with more than 20000s of record so we have the solution to build the data flow okay to solve this problem so let's we go to the make dot power apps okay here you can be see i am in the make dot power apps so here i simply go to this option okay more and here you will see data flows so simply just click on this data flow. so in the data flows simply we will create a new data flow gives the name to this or simply we just give the name to this column orders and just click on the create after that here you can be see uh, we are on the power query editor in the power apps okay so from here we can be choose the different data sources like excel sql or take csv so in this case a uh, client share us the excel workbook with us okay so let's we click on the excel workbook simply and click on the upload file because we have the flight and here we will select the order so we need to sign in as well okay to this account my file is uploaded successfully and i sign in successfully as well just i click on the okay so here it is saying sign in one more time so let's i sign in it is giving me the pop up for the signing purpose let's i sign in from there as well okay done. let's click on the next i let's i make it this full screen let's select the table here orders and just click on the transform data here the transform data we get a source we get a navigation bar and our headers also promoted okay and column type also changed in this so this is promoted as the row number okay this is done automatically okay here also date and other things are changed okay so if in your case it is not done you can do the manually as well from here yeah so let's i simply click on the next so here it is giving me the different options load to new table load to existing table so table is new so name is coming automatically orders okay if uh, you want to give description you can give here is a column type it is coming correctly you can be see text 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 floating point number discount order rate text type you can cross verify all the type here okay and just simply click on the next uh, we will i will set the refresh manually and click on the send refresh failure notification to data flow owner in this case i am the owner so i will receive the notification email okay so orders is not publish yet okay it is publishing it is in progress it will take some minute so for now that time i just cut down this video and uh, come back after some time yeah once it is so friends you can be see our data flow is published now okay let's we go in the tables now in the same environment so we are in the table section so let's i select here custom and search here orders okay oh uh, so you can be see uh, my table is created here okay with the names of cr order standard okay so let's i go and let's see this table okay so schema name and all other things you can be see here okay let's i just go and click on the edit to check my data is properly coming or not okay so here is misspell little bit so you can be see uh, my all the rows are come correctly okay let's i click on the select all and just click on the save so friends hope you able to see the all the data here okay and this is also loading okay yeah so let's i go to one step back okay our data is ready now let's i go to the solution now 
in the the solution i simply click on the new solution and let's create one new solution here so let's we use here name sales order sales tracking app let's create the new publisher here sales tracking app name we will give the same name sales lead tracking app tracking app okay yes l t is our prefix okay contact you can fill the information here mobile number and other thing if you have the, want to fill the other you can fill the other details as well okay okay so here we not need to give the base so let's we remove that okay and just simply click on the save now it is saved successfully let's we select our publisher sales lead tracking app okay else here also let's be your lead tracking app and uh, simply configuration none anything none okay and simply just click on the create so our new solution is created now you can be see let's we add our existing table okay into this application so it is loading still let's click on here exit add existing table type here order okay so we have the orders yeah so let's simply click on and click on the add okay so we added table successfully you can be seen so in our next video we will create the views let's i open this properties okay of this table not properties let's say i go and click on the edit so i simply just click on the orders here okay and came on this page okay so here we need to create some forms views if we need to build the chat okay so we will build the chat from here and dashboard as well okay so for now um this is already done okay so in tomorrow's video we will see how to create forms views and the, some chat and dashboards yeah thank you friends have a nice day